full-stack development is building the entire application and everything that's required to have the data, host the data, and to allow somebody to actually interact with it. That is full-stack development, and it is behind every website and every mobile app you have ever used. What I love most about my job is to be able to provide a solution that I'm proud of. It's the way that I see my project coming together and it being very efficient, scalable. For me, designing a solution is an art. When you're getting ready for your job search, you want to make sure that your LinkedIn is updated. So make sure it really lists your skills and that other people have verified those. Whichever technology you find yourself most confident about, add them to your resume, test them out, do a, a round of interview with somebody you're comfortable with. If you have projects hosted, make sure that you're linked to your GitHub, and if they're live hosted, that as well, so anyone looking for you can actually see and interact with the projects you're working on. On GitHub, we can see your activity, so we'll look for, okay, there's like five projects that are pretty impressive, but the last time they were touched was eight months ago. So keep building and learning as you go. When the hiring manager is looking to hire you, uh, let's say that you apply for a DevOps position, they would specifically be interested in learning how much you know about the DevOps technologies. Let's say that they would ask you questions about Jenkins. They would want to know if you know about Docker, you know about containerization, do you know about virtualization, do you know about cloud computing? Are you aware of these technologies that are available in the market. One thing that hiring managers are looking for in new developers is often assistance with updating old code bases. And sometimes this is fully transitioning to new frameworks, but oftentimes just that the code isn't very efficient, it doesn't follow best practices, or it's not well documented. They would also be expected to be able to manage their time, and they will be expected to be able to communicate with other teams and learn team dynamics. Whether you're working with your internal team or building APIs that are facing externally, you will have to know how to build an API and make sure that it's well documented and usable for other developers. Things like authentication, uh, concepts like testing, uh, concepts like logging, you would be playing with these technologies, you will be working with them on a daily basis and uh, you will be making automated pipelines that will help to shorten the deployment cycles. You also really want to keep in mind that the client experience is always paramount. You don't want their interface to be laggy, it should be intuitive, it should be clean, and it should be pretty. If you're not design inclined like myself, having a designer is often really nice for this, but you implement that design. People are going to be looking at your code quality. Do you follow best practices? Do you know what REST is? Are you following HTTP principles? Is your code tested? Is it well documented? All of these things are going to impact your success. And together with that, the industry always keeps moving forward at a great speed. So I get to keep learning newer technologies on a daily basis or keep exploring newer, newer ideas. You just have to be ready to hit the ground rolling and to be willing to learn. Ask questions from your coworkers, use the documentation, look back at the code base that already exists and learn from that, and keep an open mindset.